5-0 against Liverpool at Old Trafford, then 4-0 against Liverpool today at Anfield. Mo Salah against scoring a brace. You know when the game started, I wasn't convinced at all. I thought, fine, we won't win, we won't win. We all know Manchester United won't win at Anfield because nahi jeet sakte. Ab hoi ga nahi aisa because we were hoping that if we draw bhi nikal jaye, if we secure a draw. That would be a very big thing for Manchester United. And trust me, losing 4-0 doesn't disappoint me. Doesn't disappoint me because I was prepared for it. I was prepared for the thrashing Liverpool was going to give us. And they did. They, they fully did. They were spot on. They were spot on. Manchester United were destroyed. Khatam kar diya, yaar. Khatam kar diya. They exposed our weaknesses fully. They controlled everything. They killed us. They destroyed us. Liverpool ran over us at Anfield and trust me, we weren't even in the game for 5 minutes. Manchester United, clown fest, clown fest, Rashford up front, shit, I can't even link up two passes together, he can't even do, complete two passes together, Bruno Fernandes lobbying passes everywhere, trying to make plays but can't construct two passes again. Jaden Sancho was a bit of hope but anyways before I criticize each and every player because each player was shit including David De Gea including David De Gea our goalkeeper not a single Manchester United player played like he deserved to wear this he deserved to wear this not a single player and we missed Cristiano Ronaldo today we really missed him because whenever we got two or three chances, two three chances, just this is the chances we got in this game. Bus or koi chance nida. We could have used his quality up front because Rashford just couldn't control the ball. Rashford couldn't make passes, couldn't link up, which could have been supplied by Cristiano Ronaldo, our goat. But we have to understand him. He is going through a tough time. And uh, we have to be together, but, 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 coming back to Manchester United, first half, what happened? Under 10 minutes, Paul Pogba going off injured, first goal conceded. Look at where Harry Maguire is in this picture. Just look at him. Playing different formation, five at the back, two wing backs, playing two strikers up front as Ilanga and Rashford. And in midfield, we have Pogba, Bruno Fernandes. Nemanja Matic, 5 at the back, Ralph Ragnick went with a different tactic to, you know, counter Liverpool because the strategy was Liverpool will press us, dominate us, but we have to soak in the pressure and then play on the counter. This was the strat strategy all along, but in 5 minutes, we concede one goal, Paul Pogba goes off injured, Ralph Ragnick has to change his things. Ralph uh, brings on Jesse Lingard because we have no... Bench substitutions, good substitutions, come on. And then, ch uh, formation changes again. Now we are not playing 5-3-2. We are playing something else. What we are playing? 4-4-2. Yes, we were playing 4-4-2. Jesse Lingard as a midfielder. Van Bissaka dropping in. And then still, shit performance. Can't even link up plays. Can't even do passes. 2-3 passes. Every time Manchester United got the ball, and trust me, they didn't get the ball a lot. Only 21% possession in the first half. In total, 28% possession. That's it. Every time Manchester United got the ball in the first half, they were lacking composure. They were impatient. It's like Liverpool will press them. That was known. It was a known fact. So Manchester United could have shown some compassion, some composure in moving the ball around. But no, 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 no. Every time go ball milti, every time they get the ball, they try to make quick passes and they lose it. Liverpool break and Liverpool go fast. They have pacey wingers. Luis Diaz, Sadio Mane, Mohamed Salah. Salah again scoring two goals against us, man. Again, the defense is shit. Phil Jones coming back into the team, not taking anything away from him. But Lindelof, Phil Jones, Harry Maguire playing first time. Five at the back formation was shit and you could see in the first goal where is Harry Maguire, where is Harry Maguire, he's off the line. United is playing a higher defence line in the first half. They had to but still Maguire doing Maguire things. 
come the second half let's come to the second half because first half is shit we all know signs of hope signs of hope i would say thodi ummeed thi because ralph brought on jaden sancho as the second half started okay fine sancho moving on the wings getting the ball quick 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 trying to do something but Ra- rashford marcus rashford can't link up plays now he's just 24 years old he's just 24 years old but he can't even do things that is expected of a normal player jaden sancho getting the ball through the wing trying to link up play koshish kar raha hai wo ki theek hai main cut kar raha hu ball i'm getting the ball inside then i cut back to rashford he, he, he should score at least he should get a shot on target but no rashford sloppy sloppy not having the right mindset you know to do things and this was the whole second half liverpool sat back a bit because manchester united got control of the ball for a little bit but uske baad wahi scene hua manchester united trying to attack liverpool get the chance they break sadio mane scores a goal another goal by mohammed salah in the later stages and liverpool score four past us at anfield anyways it's it is what it is some people might say manchester united are shit they are shit because what are we doing what are we doing eric ten hag is coming in next summer but the top 4 is now more challenging ab nahi pata ki will we even get top 4 because our next fixtures are against chelsea then arsenal if we play like this against chelsea and arsenal we we might just forfeit the game we might just forfeit the game because we can't afford to play this kind of games ralf ragnick needs to find something but good hope is maybe cristiano ronaldo is available for the next game and he needs to be there if manchester united needs to have a chance because we can't have rashford up front we can't play marcus rashford as a striker we should not play him let's just let him sit on the bench because he's just not good of a player now he sell him in the summer please get rid of him do anything manchester united lose 4-0 to liverpool expected expected it was expected no doubt about that i'm just i'm just sad that we might not get top 4 this season and have to play maybe europa or maybe even conference league football it's it's quite shocking but uh, Let's see where it goes. Let's see where it goes. I'll see you in the next one.